Hello everyone, this is Jason Donnelly, aka DJ Puzzle, reporting from my website iPadLoops.com, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to have a look at the No Limits Limiter Audio Unit by DDMF. I'm going to push this app to the limit with some extreme settings to give you an idea as to how it sounds. In this case, I'm using Cubasis with no limits on the master channels. Limiters compress audio while limiting the max level so that you don't exceed a certain decibel. This helps level out your audio to avoid digital clipping. A limiter on the master channel limits overall mix so that it doesn't exceed a specific decibel, like negative 3 dB for example. You can adjust this by changing the ceiling knob. All the other parameters are common amongst compressors. Look-ahead limiters are mostly used for broadcast because they keep the audio safe from clipping. Without look-ahead, your loud transients could slip through and cause clipping. Look-ahead will try to figure out where the loudest transients are before they play so that it can adjust the limiter accordingly. You can adjust how far ahead the app will look by changing the look-ahead time in milliseconds. Longer look-ahead will look further ahead. Now let's hear the app. Don't be afraid to experiment with this effect. You can use it to achieve some extreme sausaging if you like. Just mess with the threshold setting. Notice how I have the auto gain on. That's compensating for the effect and giving us these extreme results. I have my look ahead set to 1.7 milliseconds in this case, mainly because this is a simple audio performance without lots of change in dynamics. Let me show you what the audio is doing on the master channels. When I turn the limiter off, you can see now the clipping. The little red marks here show you that the audio is clipping. It's way too loud. I'll clear those out and I'll activate the limiter. And now you can see it limiting the audio. So it's not going to exceed that ceiling. No matter how hard we push it, it won't exceed that ceiling setting. Which looks like it's set to negative 1.6 dB. Adjusting the threshold will compress the audio more. So you're looking at a real sausage brick wall effect here. I'm going to dial that threshold back again. So yes, this limiter does the job and it sounds quite good. Thanks again for watching and please subscribe. Mm-hmm.